if you find your PC inexplicably um, booting into this a screen, into the BIOS screen, or the screen in the screen you just saw, uh, this might be a possible fix for you. But I'm not guaranteeing that it will work. But if you just um, where is that? So if you just press delete and then go to the BIOS, I found this fix. It's pretty simple. Just see if this works for you. But if it doesn't, well, <laughs> don't blame me. But I'm just trying to help. So you go to your advanced screen and you go to SATA configuration. Every BIOS setup has this one. Um, what you call this? The setup might not be the same. The UI might might not be the same, but. Every BIOS has one nowadays. So you go to SATA configuration and then you check if your onboard SATA mode has inexplicably shifted from AHCI to native IDE. But I am not I am not a tech expert. So if your PC goes up in smokes, don't blame me for this. I'm just saying that if you've exhausted all our all other options, just see if this works for you. So what I do is I shift back to HCI and then after that I go to the save and exit screen or you just uh, press F4 so I'm going to press F4 now to save and exit and then I just click on yes and that should fix things for this PC but like I've said if you've exhausted all other options that's the time you try this fix but if not you know just think around with it maybe it'll fix your problem and there you go so this has been retro burn and you just if you like this video guys please like and subscribe would go a long way to um support my channel stay cool stay frosty